Hello everybody and thank you for coming to my speech about making the minimum wage into a living wage. My name is Kagan and as many of you I work a wage here in Hawaii. I find that despite making significantly over the minimum wage and working two jobs I still have trouble making ends meet. The time to change the minimum wage in Hawaii is now as we're experiencing higher inflation due to COVID and the hardships facing the working class are increasing exponentially. Current global events have sent the costs of energy and therefore everything else skyrocketing from a previous 2% to including energy a 6% inflation increase. That means the cost of electricity and gas have gone through the roof beyond any previous levels and in relation to those, the costs of everything else have increased significantly. The current minimum wage in Hawaii is $10.10 an hour. That's $404 a week that's with a 40 hour work week or $21,008 a year. That in relationship to the um, median income of Hawaii, which is $83,000 a year, or in the case of the county of Hawaii, only $67,000, which both of those are approaching a living wage but neither neither one is the situation of half of Hawaii's residents extreme poverty is experienced by 6% of Hawaiian residents with 11.5% experiencing food insecurity and 12% of children experiencing poverty 23% of single parent families have children that are below poverty. 62,000 people in Hawaii are dependent on SNAP benefits to have their nutrition needs met. 22,000 are dependent on federal subsidies, federal housing assistance, and these benefits are a way for the for the companies and businesses of Hawaii to offload the cost of living for their employees onto the state and the taxpayers. Our declining high school graduation rate is in part due to increased financial strain, as well as our increase in the percentage of college graduates in Hawaii with debt at 43%. Six thousand over 6,000 people in Hawaii are experiencing homelessness with 53 out of 450,000 households spending over 50% of their income every month on housing costs alone. With the rising cost of energy, the other 50% is getting pretty tight. The last time the, the uh, minimum wage peaked in the 1960s in terms of real dollars. The actual purchase power today is no better than it was in the 1950s and still declining. At a current rate of 4.3% unemployment, we're over twice the rate we were before the COVID pandemic with 22,000 unemployed people who are no longer eligible to receive unemployment benefits. These are people out of work who are seeking employment actively. This number does not include people who are not looking for work.
a single person, a single adult in the state of Hawaii would have to be making twice the minimum wage to have what is considered a living wage. That means enough money to, to pay for housing and have all of their needs met comfortably. If you have three children, you, as a single adult, you have to have six times the minimum wage. Two adults with one working, you, you need three times the minimum wage without any children. And as you gain children, you need more and more money, obviously, because that's what kids cost. Two working adults, if you've got two working adults and no children, you are still not making a living wage on minimum wage. If both of you work 40 hours a week at minimum wage, you still fall $3 an hour below a, a living wage in the state of Hawaii. The benefits of a living wage extend beyond the benefits to the individual workers. Employers, for example, will receive increased pro productivity, according to studies, as well as increased worker loyalty and a better reputation in the community. With a better reputation and increased productivity come better sales. For the employees themselves, you, they gain better access to, to good health, good medicine. They gain um, better access to socialization, having their social needs met. They, in, they gain access to better housing and just a better lifestyle in general. The benefits to the community are enormous because simply having that increased purchase power and having people with money that they can spend freely without worrying about the next time something goes wrong with their car or their house or the next time their kids get sick, having that little bit of extra money to spend on just whatever they want improves the economy by leaps and bounds. So the local economy benefits quite a bit as well. I need all of your help to make this work. Without popular support, no one is ever going to do anything about the minimum wage as we have seen for the last 50 years. We need everybody's signature on a petition to get Governor Ige to permanently tie the minimum wage to the cost of living in Hawaii. This puts the pressure on corporations and businesses in Hawaii to pay their workers a living wage rather than offload that cost onto the state and the taxpayers. Thank you all for coming. Please tell everyone to sign my petition and have a good night.